Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is January 25th, 2022, and today is Tuesday morning. So talk about the U.S. markets tumbling further. VIX spikes, which is the volatility index, spiked higher. Now, no major economic event scheduled for today. But as we look at the various markets, the U.S. dollar continues to strengthen as the Dow and the Nasdaqs continue to tumble, getting a little bit of a bounce yesterday, but still tumbling. Looking at commodities, gold and oil unchanged, and the stocks start to look like they're bouncing. And that might be a precept to the markets bouncing. And lastly, Bitcoin unchanged. Just to reiterate, for this Wednesday, we have FOMC rate statements. So that is an anticipation to that. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're going to start with the euro usd at a four hour chart you can see pretty much that we are at the bottom of the range once again 112.86 ish and this is perfect right before we go to the fomc rate statement this is coming into support ish level now gbp also retracing here and consolidating at this 134.70 ish level and aussie us dollar also consolidated and then capitulated this morning with a little bit of beef up on major news so with that said the markets are rotating at this stage after a whopping move on the downside. Now, first, looking at the commodities, gold unchanged, 1837, you know, 1840, just a few dollars away. And crude oil also pretty much at its same level at 8442, just gaining a little bit. Now, looking at the major markets, this is what I'm talking about. We're trading at 34,160. We went down to 33,000 yesterday. That's a 3,000 point move between here to down here and this is this is crazy this is like wow unbelievable volatility here now this is a supportish area okay if we look at this area this is definitely supportish area this 33,000 so we're looking for that for that to be a bottom here at least in the interim I would like to see it gain back into that 35,000 ish level I mean we're we're about three 2,000 points off. So for it to gain about another 1,000 points on the upside between now and Wednesday when we do have the major news coming out with the FOMC rate statement. Now looking at the NASDAQ also, wow, we down to 14,336. Now if we look at the stocks, they're bouncing. Okay, yesterday they did bounce. Looking at Apple bouncing to 161. Facebook also to 309 above that area. Microsoft still shy of that $300 range, okay, which is very important to us. And looking at Amazon also bouncing a little bit and regaining back some of that structure right here at that supportish area. So JP Morgan also bouncing a little bit at 145. So stocks are there. They need to bounce at this stage, otherwise they're gonna go lower, which is an anticipation, okay? They have appreciated tremendously over the past two years. So this may be be a point where we do make a correction now lastly looking at bitcoin pretty much unchanged here at 36,400 ish level but the markets are definitely reeling and this is definitely some tremendous opportunities to take advantage of the markets this is fred razak I want to wish everybody a great trading day thank you